Okay, keeping it kinky. This is my video response to your I am a fat bitch. Now, I don't go around generally saying that term bitch. It kind of just does something to me because I'm old school and all that good stuff. And uh, I just don't really use, use the term loosely. But in this case, just because of your video, I'm going to say... I am a fat bitch. It is so many fools on the internet that really think they superior. And just the nerve of that individual to come on there and say, you a fat bitch. You know, people feel free to loosely use that term, and I can't stand it. Not because I'm not proud. I'm proud. I am a fat bitch. I'm proud of that shit. You know? But I'm from a skinny family. Ain't no recessive fat gene in our family, you know? It's uh, skinny folks. You know? So I was made to feel bad for my little fat. And, you know, I went and I went through some issues. Uh, I never had a date in high school or college. And um, never thought I was ugly. I mean, you know, look in the mirror. I didn't have that kind of um, self-esteem where, you know, I look in the mirror and say, oh, I'm ugly. No, that was never it. I just hated the way people felt comfortable about bullying me, forcing their opinion on me. That made me feel miserable. That, not the fact that I was fat. You know, shit, when I did study or, you know, go through some therapy on the shit and learned that some of it was uh, issues from uh, child molestation at an early age. Um, and then also, you know, I was raised in foster care. I, I got separated from my siblings at an early, early age. Um, and so, you know, my little little child mind, I thought my uh, being subject to the molestation had to do with being cute. So I embraced that. I was glad. I don't want niggas on me like that. I never, I never did. I don't want nobody following me and hawking me for my numbers. So, it, it, you know, and I'm too nice. I don't want to hurt people's feelings or reject them if I'm not really interested. So I, I was comfortable with not getting all that kind of attention. You know, I ain't really explored this just sexy side, you know, technically to now in my 40s. So anyway, um, I remember listening to you. Uh, wow, <laughs> my phone going off the chain. That's on my YouTube channel. Anyway, um, I heard, you know, I, I, I noted the part where you said your sister, you know, reached out to you because you a new entree into the fat world. And it's just the reverse with me and my sibling. Um, she's dropped dead gorgeous. And, uh, um, you know, easily could be a model. And um, tall like me, she's not as tall as me, but I'm the tallest. And really, I thought that was the reason why I didn't get chose. I thought guys was intimidated by my height more so than anything, not because I'm fat, because um, I really gave up on trying to uh, fit in for being fat, and I wouldn't go to the traditional nightclubs, you know, because I couldn't stand going there, and I'm sitting at the table with my friends, and all of them get chose to dance, and I'm the best dancer in the bunch, but, you know, I, I would get looked over and sitting at the table watching purses, and I don't drink, you know. That's not fun for somebody who loves music and loves dance, so I go to the club and I'm looking at all these Jerry Curl niggas in uh, suits. That would just piss me off, so I had swore off all traditional clubs. I didn't really get into going out into a club till I was 21, and that's when I got introduced to house music and house music clubs. I uh, was... You know, I had a girlfriend in college try to get me to go sooner. And I was like, hell no, I don't want to go to no gay joint. 
You know, if I'm getting rejected in a straight place, what the hell am I going to go there where I know they don't like women? But it turned out to be just the opposite. They were just way more accepting, and if you could dance, girl, get your ass on the floor and do that thing. And so then I had no problem. I had men all over me, women all over me, all surrounding me, you know. So it wasn't, I found out then, it wasn't a fat issue. You know, it's a societal issue. Society gives these skinny motherfuckers all this freedom to call somebody fat. And I really think that shit should be illegal. Like, you can't, you know, you can't just bust out in the middle of a public place and call somebody a nigga. You know, they would consider that provocation. They would, you provoke the person by using that term in a derogatory manner. So I really think um, it should be illegal to call a fat person fat in a derogatory manner. You know, I am a fat bitch. You know, I like to eat. I'm comfortable with myself. I like my jelly and my junk in the trunk. You know, my old people, they go on a, a long road trip. The older ones, they have a hard time sitting on that chair because they ain't got no meat to cover their bones. They skinny. and You know, that that's a torturous type of trip when you're skinny and just skinny bones. So, I, you know, I think skinny is ugly. But I ain't hating on skinny people. You know, I got skinny people on my website. I, I changed my attitude about that, too, because I thought that um, when Monique started losing weight, I was like, oh, now I can't say I hate skinny bitches publicly because she coming on down. I used to feel comfortable because <laughs> I had her on the team. But um, on my website, that taught me a very valuable lesson. I had a couple who was a fan, and they followed me from, day, from YouTube to Daily Motion to Whatever, but I, um, and he kept posting a picture of this skinny chick. I had a, a fat girl, uh, website on me. And I could not understand why he kept posting this skinny chick on my website. Don't he know this a fat site? And it turned out it was him and his wife. You know, so I stopped hating on skinny people. So I ain't got no hate for skinny people either, but I do hate some of y'all skinny bitches. The ones who come on and automatically assume a fat person eating too much, a fat person don't work out, a fat person ain't got control, because some of you skinny motherfuckers don't eat right, don't work out, and look sick. You know, if you can squeeze your ass and your ass go all the way to the pelvic, that's not charming, cushiony, soft, that's sick. That means you don't have no muscle mass back there, and it's just skin, literally, and flesh. There's not no muscle tone. You can press your gluteus maximus all the way till you get to the pelvic bone. That's not cute. That's not cute, you know? If you hit me and I flex my butt muscles, muscles you'll hurt yourself because it's a mass behind that jelly. You know, and so I bring up my um, sibling because we get into this kind of sort of debate over it because I guess she thinks that I say I love being fat in self-defense. I really do. I really do like having the cush around me, the extra, you know, but she hates it. She hates it. She just joined the fat club. And that's another thing. You know, some people get fat involuntarily, you know. I have a child who had to take medication that blew them up, you know, and they was always skinny. They still skinny now. It was, it was the medication that made them chunky, you know. So some people have an issue with that. I go to a health club. Um, I stop hating on supersized BBWs because I used to be in a club where, oh, that's not thick, that's fat, you know, but... You know, anything that ain't skinny is thick, you know. So you thick chicks that hate that other people call them bigger chicks than you thick, that's just stupid. Get over it. You know, anything that's not thin is thick. So I changed my attitude when I met this YouTuber, Dr. Scott, 
and his all his music is so cool and he uh he is a lover of all things big plus when I was at my health club there's a there was a super size plus woman who I kept bumping into at different times cuz I you know I have a more flexible schedule I can go to different sessions on different days and I kept bumping into her and I was like wow she you know she really do be working out all the time and I finally just struck up a conversation with her, and she said, well, I got an issue with uh, low metabolism, you know. No matter what I eat, you know, my metabolism is slow. And now this was a super-sized girl that could beat all of us in the um, in the aquatic classes. She was, uh, you know, good and graceful, you know, but she didn't uh, just eat out of control, you know. In my family, it used to piss me off to no end. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry, my allergies are really getting to me. Um, piss me off to no end. We get, a, we have a family sit down dinner. Everybody else go up and get seconds, and when I go get seconds now, everybody look. You sure you really want that? Well, hell yeah! Didn't all of y'all just get a second? Help me, you know. Skinny motherfuckers, you need to stop playing. You just lucky genetically that shit don't show up on you. That's it. But some of y'all mofos is not no more healthier than a fat person. And you can't go around assuming that if you fat, you automatically is some type of character flaw. Because some people get into the fat club because of medication. Some people in the fat club because of metabolism issues. Some people in the fat club age. You know, bodies change, you know, and so you might have been skinny when you were younger and you picked up weight when you was older. Even though you haven't changed anything about your diet or lifestyle. You know, my sister stresses all the time because she works out, ride, uh, riding a bike all the time, and, um, you know, she doesn't overeat, but still, you know, she in the plus club now. And fine as hell, you know, she still gets chose. But that's not enough for her. So that's what made me back up off of people because I was always around there. I'm proud of being fair. You should be glad, you know. Um, people, st uh, uh, do still want you at the fat size, you know. But if you lived your life as a skinny person, and you suddenly joined the fat club, I understand that too. I have compassion, and so I, I backed off, and I stopped being like that around her. But truly and truly, I am proud. I am a fat bitch. <laughs> I'm proud of it. And that's just what I had to add to your topic of fat bitch. And you YouTubers out there, you got somebody on your account talking shit to you. It really is a violation of YouTube guidelines, and you can report them. They can get strikes on their account, just like you can get strikes for uh, nudity or other things. You can get strikes on your account for obscene, hateful comments. Just wanted to let you all know that. And, um... If you if you want to know more, you can check out my video on cyberbullying. It ain't cool. You know, for one, I do have to add this. For one, on YouTube, when you make a negative comment on somebody's video, especially if you have videos up, do you know you automatically associate your video with the negative person's account that you hating on? And haters, stop saying you ain't no hater. You know, I see they use the hater term loosely like, you know, you got to be jealous of somebody if you hating on them. You read the dictionary, hate is a strong dislike. So you haters, accept your position because if you strongly dislike me because I'm fat or for whatever reason, you is a fucking hater. <laughs> Stop kidding yourself. Um, anyway, that's enough of my rant on that topic. I'm fat and all that. 
And uh, I like what you're doing on your channel, Kinky. Keep on keeping it kinky.